Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to a bit of a different video. Uh, as you know, trying to pick up the wheel, trying to pick up pedals, trying to pick up a shifter. I just wanted the full setup in one. Um, unfortunately, we had a bit of a bad story with that. Um, I'm not going to go into that now. I'll save that for another video. Um, yeah, Facebook Marketplace did not come up clutch at all. Um, so in the end, I just ended up just going to ended up going to Amazon. Uh, I just paid what I had to pay. Uh, I managed to pick up a Logitech G29. Um, they were slightly on sale, um, so I got it a bit cheaper. I found it a bit of a better option than the Thrustmaster. Um, obviously, the Thrustmaster I had last time, and it was such good quality. But in terms of price at the moment, I couldn't afford to uh, go for a Thrustmaster. So I went for Logitech, see how it goes. Um, I'm going to set it up on this video. And it's a bit different. I'm going to speed it up and different points. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't even know what I'm planning for this video. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, let's get going. I do apologize for the mess. Um, they've got like an old PC case. They've got old PC parts. I need to get rid of it all. And I'm trying to get there at some point. Now I've got an old TV. Like we just moved into this house probably about a month ago. So we've got bits everywhere. I've got my old desk piece, uh, my old uh, desk chair as well. Um, so there's a bit of a bit of a mess in here. So just ignore that. And I do apologize. Um, yep, yeah, spare bed over there. <laughs> uh, let's get to it. So I've got a GT Omega. Uh, I couldn't get like the full setup. I didn't really want to get the chair and everything. I just wanted something that could fold away, fold away, and sort of put in the corner over there. Um, so I've got a DT Mega Omega Classic Wheel Stand. Uh, it came with the the shifter bit as well. And the few a few stands I did look at, the shifter bit was like attached to where the wheel is, so you'd have to shift like right up here. Uh, but this one seems to have an extra bit that comes out the bottom. You can shift like more like a realistic sort of shift. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's crack this box open. Yeah, sorry, by the way, I am recording this on my webcam. So apologies, <laughs> apologies if the quality is quite bad. But um, here's the box, the GT Omega. Um, on the side, it says it's a classic wheel stand. If anyone's interested. Um, but yeah, you'll see it once it's assembled. Sorry about the miss again. Sorry about the miss. Uh, but yeah. Everything's out of bags, everything's waiting to be assembled. Um, comes with some instructions, which I'm kind of following because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, be fair, I missed a step already. <laughs> okay, so that's as far as we can go with the stand until uh, we get the actual wheel on here. Um, so it's quite sturdy. I really like this. I had a really, like my, when I used to make videos, I had a really cheap stand and it was like, it could rock. But this feels really sturdy. Um, I haven't tightened everything ultra tight yet because I don't know what heights I want or stuff like that. But I really like this shifter down here. It makes it feel more risk realistic. Um, and yeah, nice little stand down here for the pedals. But yeah, I'm overly pleased with the quality of this. It's been really easy to put together like you've only got to screw a few of these like bits in there's only one point there and I had to use an Allen key, Allen key and that was to uh, attach this shifter plate on the top and even that that's so easy um, but yeah looking nice um, so let's get the wheels out now okay so I've got the G9 G920 um, I thought it's the G29 but this is pretty much exactly the same as the G29 but obviously just the Xbox version and whenever I play console, I always seem to play Xbox. So I thought I might as well just be careful and just buy the Xbox version. So it comes in a, like an Xbox official box, which I'm quite surprised. I didn't even know there's Xbox official. Uh, but yeah, it's looking nice packaging. Uh, but let's crack it open. Yeah, so this is the shifter. Um, it's just a driving force shifter. Exciting times. Okay, so out the pack. Uh, literally just come as a shifter. I've got some bits to attach here. We've got clamps. We've got different ways to attach this. I'm going to work out how I want to do this because I have no idea what I'm doing. And we shall see. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so the shifter plate's right here. Let's see. Okay, so I assume it just probably just slides in here. 
line in the ends like this. So that was fairly simple. Uh, it's just on this shifter, shifter mount here. It's probably quite hard to see on the video, uh, but it's literally, there's some clamps and you just tighten these little, like, little knobs by the side of it. And yeah, it just clamps onto there. There's two holes to put screws in, which I'm going to do. I might as well do it properly while I'm here, right? Box. Box. Box, box, box. Sounding like Lewis Hamilton right now. Um, so yeah, oh, let's bring this in. So you can probably see the shifter a bit better now. It's just on this little arm here, uh, mounted. There's some screws that can go underneath. Um, so it's like a... Oh, that's actually quite cool. So, yeah, this is going to be fun to use. Obviously going to take a while to get used to it. My gearbox is laid out slightly different in my car. Yeah, it's only slightly different. Um, so yeah, can't complain there. That's looking really nice. Uh, really good quality. It's mounted on there quite safe. So I can't complain at all. That's the pedals attached. Screwed them in, they're not going to budge from there. Um, you can slide it further up, I might do that, I'll see how I, how I can sit and things um, first. Um, but yeah, we're looking quite good so far. Don't do what I just did. Um, you have to plug into the bottom of the wheel, so I've got to take it all off. Oh, and the gear shifter as well, I, did, I definitely had a mare there. Yeah, so everything plugs in underneath the wheel. Yeah, cool thing about this, there's a nice uh, cable tidy underneath the wheel. So I'm going to wrap as much of that of the cable as I can around there. Then we can put the slap down the side pole here to try and hide the cables a bit. Okay, we're looking pretty much set up. Um, got this gear stick on here. Uh, I've done the cabling. Let's see if we can turn it. So yeah, the cabling, I've tried to keep it quite compact uh, unfortunately this cable from the shifter couldn't go the whole way like round if that makes sense so it just had the straight line into here uh just sort of zip tied it up here to make it a little bit tighter but that bit's done there uh, we've got the the pedals the cable just runs down the, this side here they supplied these little velcro sort of zip ties should we say so i've done that down this side um, over this side, we just got the USB cable and the power pack. So I've just zip tied, zip tied that to the side there, and it's just sort of comes out of this bottom section down here. Um, don't know how long I want that yet or anything like this, but we'll decide that in the future. Uh, but other than that, I think we're pretty much there. I need to have a tidy up and obviously set up the wheel on the con uh, onto the PC. Okay, now we're on the PC. Uh, I've pretty much set up the wheel. Um, one thing I will say is the pedals are so far forwards. Like I've got, I'm quite a tall person. Like I'm six foot one ish, and the pedals feel really close. Like probably I'll get used to it or whatever. But they feel really close to me, um, and that's probably on the that is on the furthest setting I can choose. So yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Um, but we'll try and sort that out at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Got my shifter down here. Don't know if that's on the camera or not. It's not. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there we go. Shifter's there. Um, that's solid. Um, I had to change from the bar. There was a bar that went in down here, and that would have the shifter like down here somewhere. But I had to change from that because my chair's got arms on it, and the arms cannot go past the shifter because it's the exact same height. So I couldn't get close enough, if that makes sense. It was it was just in the way of my chair. Like, if I had a chair with no arms, it would be no problem. But because this has got arms, I couldn't pull it in, and then it was like I was really far back. Um, so it was a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, other than that, shifters in. Uh, we got the wheel set up. We got this the right height as I want it, pretty much. I'd say I could maybe, maybe go a little bit down, but that's me being picky. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I need to set up the wheel on the actual PC. And I've got the Logitech, Logitech gaming software because I've got a Logitech mouse. So um, pretty much I just plugged the USB in. It just popped up in the gaming software. 
I don't know if I need to do anything really. Uh, it's like you got all these presets, you can double click on these and assign them to different things, and yeah, it's a bit crazy. So I can do like keystrokes, I don't know. You can do mouse functions, I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to leave that. But there's an option up here called uh, steering wheel. The one here, you've got sensitivity, you've got 900 degrees, you've got 90. I think that was on 50, but I changed it just a second ago. Uh, but I'm going to be running 900 because I'm, I want to try and drift to start with. Um, I'm gonna, I, I, I will down it if I do like grip racing, I'll down it a bit. Um, because 900 degrees grip racing is a bit crazy. Uh, but for now, I am pretty much going to put that back down to 50 because I don't even know why I changed it. And the sensitivity, I'm just going to leave at 50% for now and see what happens. Um, but yeah, that was me setting up my Logitech. Was this the C? Oh, I even forgot what it's called. Let me have a look. C9. No, it's a G. It's a G. G920. It even says it on here, surely. Yeah. Why does it not say it? There's a picture of it. This one. Yeah, G920. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and look forward to the videos coming up. I'll probably do a, we'll record a video straight after this, trying to get used to the wheel again and uh, see what happens. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and yeah, let's get going, lads.